Hey there, Chuba Nights, it's your friendly neighborhood gun lover here. Today we're going to do another mag painting video. Uh, we are going to do the... This is Tiger Stripe, this would be what? 4.0, I guess? So, I showed you in the last video both of these, I believe. So this was, this was Tiger Stripe 3.0. And really the only real difference between the two is before you do your base coat of brown in this case, um, in both cases, you put a couple, you put tape down on the black side, just a bare mag, and then you put your base coat on so that when you peel everything off you've got a couple layers of black showing through. So this is kind of a tutorial for 3.0 and 4.0. Um, again, the only difference is that first layer. So, I'm going to go ahead and get some tape put on this guy. I'll come back real quick and show you what I'm talking about and then we'll put down our base coat. Okay, so as you can see I have just my base pieces of tape down just on the flat black. Um, not too big because if, if you look at wherever I put it, if you look at this guy, you know it's kind of smaller. If anything I probably went a little too big on this guy but we'll see how it turns out. So you just want like little little thin strips all over the place. All I do, and of course it doesn't matter what size tape or what tape you use really. Some people have recommended electrical tape. I use painter's tape because I'm painting. Just kidding. Um, in this case I use just the thinner stuff and I don't even know if you can see if it'll show up on camera. Maybe, maybe not. But I just sit there and I just peel like diagonal. I'll just go kind of back and forth and just peel strips and I try not to have uh, where's the spot? So right here um, you can see it's kind of straight where I kind of pulled off the edge. What I usually try and do is tear off that edge piece so it's not perfectly flat. You want it kind of torn fabric looking very, very um, natural looking, not, you know, straight lines, you know, blah, 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 all the things. So anyways, again, if you're going for this pattern, if you're going for 3.0, you do not do this step, okay? All you do is tape off the, the magwell part and then you do your base coat, which whatever you want to do. I put base coat brown and I really like how that turns out. Um, same one on this guy, base coat brown. And then I'll show you how that looks when we're done. So that's what I'm going to do to this guy. Base coat of brown. See after that. Okay, so we've got our base, paint, our base coat done. Um, as you can see, the tape's still there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go in the spaces between the, the smaller strips and put bigger strips, but if you look closely, you can see there's holes where the, the paint comes through on a lot of these. All right, so what you do, or at least what I do, is I'll take thicker tape, maybe this, or I have some narrower stuff, like that. Um, doesn't really matter. So what you do, you peel it off, and again, I try and get away from the squareness of it. I try and get more natural, uh, you know, ragged looking colors. And then all I do is I'll get my knife out, and I'll just cut a hole. So I'll just show you one, just for giggles. All right. Imagine this more rounded, you know, more natural looking. I'll just take my knife out, and I'll go right in the middle of it. Doesn't have to be in the middle of it, right? So you take that, and it's probably easier just to use your blade. Stick it through there, and you kind of fold that edge over, okay? So that you have like a big hole. You don't want it to be quite that square. And of course you can do multiple. You can do another one over here, you know, and fold it back. And so all that does is open up that hole so that when you're painting, the paint will get through that and you have, you know, a more striped thing. I don't know. It looks cool, man. So it looks, it, that's what, that's what, you know, that's what gets that cool, you know, bleed through or pass through or whatever you want to call it. Stripey. The stripey thing that we're all here for. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and tape this all up. I may, I think I'll tape it up and then I'll show it to you real quick before we paint it because that from there it's almost like the standard camo paint where you can just kind of do your last two colors at the same time and just kind of overlap, mishmash because you got to remember that brown's going to stick through everything that you just taped after the, or during this step. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Be back in a minute. Alright, so I've got everything taped up as you can see. So a couple spots with holes in it, some are just little blank spots. So obviously at this point anything that is taped right now is going to remain brown. Over the top of this, just like with this guy, and with, it actually shows up a little better on this guy, you can see I did just kind of a, 
just a bit of both of the green and the tan just kind of overlapping each other a little bit just little dabs here and there very similar to just the standard camo except this is a little more a little less patchy and more gradual better blended I guess you can argue but as you can see in this guy especially it, it turns out pretty well inside those spots that are ripped up as well so um, that's what we're going to do with this guy and we'll let it dry um, pull all the tape off and I'll show you the finished product alright so we got all the tape taken off and it turned out alright a um, couple spots where the brown kind of soaked through into the black which is no big deal just that tape came up a little bit um, but not too bad my uh, my tan paint was kind of splattery on me so I had to go over back and forth a couple of times but I think it turned out alright I think the original this guy turned out better but uh, pretty good pretty good turnout so uh, you know if you're bored go spend 15 bucks on some spray paint and start painting up your mag something to do thanks for watching